Hey, what's going on guys? In this video, I wanna talk about Launch School, my number one recommendation for coding bootcamps or learning to code schools and their new JavaScript track. Now in a previous video, I talked about Launch School, why I think it's the best learning to code resource online and why they chose to use Ruby as one of their main languages to teach software engineering. Now, if you're not familiar with Launch School, their number one differentiating factor is that they focus on what they call mastery-based learning, which is they drill the basics, the fundamental principles, or what they call the first principles of software engineering. They really focus on drilling those at a deep level, which makes the school a little bit of, you know, it's overkill if you're just trying to learn to code. It's really for people that want to start a career in software development and learn it to a very deep and thorough level. So one of the main issues a lot of people have with Launch School was that they taught over half of their curriculum in Ruby. Now, if you're not familiar with Ruby, it's a programming language that became really popular with a web framework that they were using called Ruby on Rails, which made it really easy to get a website up and you know develop a minimum viable web app for people who were starting a business or a startup and needed something really quick. I believe the peak of its popularity was from about 2011 through about 2014. Don't quote me on that. The problem is that now there's a lot of popular web frameworks that have replaced Ruby and you know make it sort of, in a lot of people's eyes, obsolete. Now, a point that I brought up in a previous video was that Launch School claims that they're using Ruby as a tool to teach the fundamentals of software engineering. They're not using it because they want you to learn Ruby necessarily. They want you to be able to learn anything by teaching you those fundamental principles so that when you go to learn any other language or technology, you know where all the pieces are supposed to fit and where to look for things when using that new technology. That was the idea. The problem was a lot of their students and other people who were considering the course complained about this because of the need for people to learn a technology that they're gonna use immediately for a job. For many people, they need to get paid doing this and they're learning this skill so that they can get paid and they don't wanna have to go and learn something else after. Really, it's as simple as that. This never bothered me. I was actually taking their Ruby curriculum and fortunately, it was only about halfway through their first course course, which is, a, it's a long course. It takes some people, you know, months. I've seen uh, people complete it in about anywhere from one to five months, but it is not a short course. And it's one of 12 or 13 parts of the overall launch school program. So it is a significant, you know, this program takes most people a while. Luckily, I was only about halfway through that first program when they just announced to their student community that they're now launching a JavaScript track. And what this does is in the old curriculum, they taught a back end engineering section with Ruby, and then they taught a front end engineering section with JavaScript. Now they've replaced that with a back end curriculum, which you start with that is in JavaScript using Node.js. And then they move to a front end curriculum, which teaches you about some of the front end technologies. And this is really interesting because the frameworks that they're using, Node.js with an express framework for the back end, are it's, you know, it's a really popular framework that tons of companies are using. So you can basically learn it and go walk out and use it on a job. But more importantly than the back end you know, framework that they're using is that by using JavaScript in the back end or using one of these back end JavaScript frameworks, you don't have to learn two languages. Since there's, you know, everyone doing front end development will have to learn HTML and CSS and JavaScript. It makes sense that if there's a back end framework you can use that uses that same language you're going to have to use on the front end, then why don't you go ahead and teach that? And that's basically the reason that they went ahead and added this curriculum. Now, there's a couple nice things about this curriculum. As they mentioned to their, uh, they sent out an email, Launch School sent out an email to their student community going through all the pros and cons. And they highlighted that, you know, it's not all good or bad for either career. Curriculum. And they're gonna to continue to offer both because they feel that having the experience of learning one language and then quickly learning another language makes you better prepared to do what they call just-in-time learning, which is when you go to a job and you have to learn new frameworks and technologies rapidly, you'll be better equipped to do that if you've already had that experience in the course, which is a huge advantage of taking Ruby and then moving to JavaScript. Now, I don't think that's gonna be enough to get many people who are taking the course to sign up for Ruby because I think a lot of students are gonna be in my position where they totally agree with some of the principles that Launch School is promoting, like mastery-based learning, but they still wanna have something that they can apply right now. And I know for me that was important, uh, especially for a number of reasons in my
my job where I have to use front end technologies and I, you know, interacting with JavaScript regularly. For me, it was especially important to be able to do that. So I was really excited to see that they had a back end career. If anything, it made me even more committed to their program than I was before. So some important things to know about these two separate curriculums, they are separate. You can pay for a subscription to both of them, but they don't come together. So you're not gonna get access to both of these curriculum if uh, you don't pay for it. And they they both start at the same price and you can move from one to the other, but just know that for either of these tracks, you have to start at the beginning when you do it. So if you go through, you know, halfway through one, you know, the Ruby curriculum and you wanna go to JavaScript, you're gonna have to start over at the beginning. They actually don't allow you to, you know, start right in the middle of it. And it's not like most other types of learning environments where you can skip around through the program. This one actually moves sequentially. So you can't get to the follow on lessons one after the other until you complete the first one and the second one, et cetera. So it's an important thing to note about the program. You should think about which one you want to do because you're not going to be able to switch without starting over. Some other important things, they use a lot of the same courses for some of the related technologies. So for example, for network working foundations, for database foundations, for HTML and CSS, basically anything databases, HTML and CSS or networking, they're gonna be the same course in either one of the tracks, Ruby or JavaScript. And then for the JavaScript backend section, it's gonna be an express framework using Node.js for backend web development with a pug templating language. So those are the technologies used. And then they also have a advanced course after you get through the core curriculum, which teaches you about some of the more advanced uh, front end frameworks. And this is important because you do wanna have some experience for why these frameworks were created, what the problems are they solve and how they go about solving them. So when you're going on and learning some of these advanced frameworks like React or Angular or Vue, you can understand some of the trade-offs the creators of those frameworks made and why they made them instead of just blindly using them. That's kind of their goal with this program is for you to become someone that could think about and maybe even create your own framework instead of just relying on one and having to use it to do things you don't know how to do in the language on its own. The last thing is they have emphasized that this JavaScript curriculum is still equally committed to a mastery-based learning approach to learning software engineering. Just like the Ruby curriculum, they're gonna hammer in the basics to an extremely detailed and nuanced degree so that you're familiar with JavaScript, front-end development, JavaScript, back-end development to a very detailed level and are able to solve problems and reverse engineer problems without having to rely on you know one way of doing things. You're able to actually start from the ground up and build solutions to you know, a whole host of different problems. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I was really excited to see this JavaScript track launch and I'm excited to see how they refine it over time. So if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, comment below letting me know what you'd like to know about launch school, if I missed something important about their launch of this new curriculum and any questions that you have about this or any other videos that I've made. So if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe so that you're notified anytime I come out with another video. And as always, thank you for watching.